Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm about to get started on this very dirty Tesla. So this is a uh, Model S 100D. Not the P100D, just the 100D. It's got a little bit of curb rash. We actually are going to order the uh, touch-up paint. They sell it, Tesla sells it on Amazon. So we're gonna get that. I have this system that he bought to touch up this craziness. But I'm gonna get everything polished and coated and we should be good to go. See all the scratches. Um, so I'm going to be doing the five-year warranty one system situation on this car and what that means is I'm offering so the the kit alone the consumer kit that anybody can buy on detailjuice.com and Amazon that kit is uh, it's good for about two years when you use uh, universal coating and the Ultra Endurance Max Coat. When you use the pro version of universal coating, which is quite a bit stronger than the consumer version, that will give, that'll give you three years. But when you top that with the Ultra Endurance Max Coat Pro, you're going to get five years of protection out of that. And the, those are the two warranty situations that I'm offering uh, starting this year is, um, you know, it covers the product to be uh, free of any manufacturing defects, uh, for it to last uh, that amount of time. You know, obviously... Uh, there is maintenance involved, which is washing and just giving it wipe downs with Infinite Use Detail Juice 1. Uh, Infinite Use Detail Juice 1 is a spray coating in itself, uh, but it basically will top the protection that the uh, system offers and keep it looking slick and glossy. Uh, you don't necessarily have to use the Infinite Use Detail Juice 1. Uh, it is just recommended to you know, aid in the sensory benefits of uh, the coating. Uh, and, and that just means it will definitely boost the slickness and gloss of the situation. See all those swirl marks? She's hammered. So, about two years-ish with the uh, consumer versions, Universal Coating Pro, Give you three years on its own and then five when topped with uh, the Ultra Endurance Max Coat Pro. Uh, and those warranty systems will be launched this spring. Uh, the one system will be available March 1st. And uh, one thing I do want to mention before I get too far into this uh, Tesla is that when I originally did all my testing, the universal coating uh, was going to be okay for me as far as a tire dressing. It is not really glossy. It leaves a matte finish, and a lot of people do like that, but I feel like the general consumer wants more shine than that. So I'm going to add a seventh product to the One system. We have a brand new formula, which I was just gonna just wait around to release uh, into the Ceram Acrylics line, but I'm gonna go ahead, since it has the same technology as the One system, I have a brand new uh, sprayable tire gel uh, it's a dilutable and sprayable tire gel and it will be available in the one system I'm actually having that label made now uh, but it's gonna be think transform dressing how dilutable and great that stuff is it just doesn't last that long so think transform dressing in the way that it's used but think tough tire gel in uh, durability and longevity type situation. So it's a sprayable, dilutable um, concentrate that really does a great job of lasting and you can either use it as a gel straight out of the bottle or you can cut it uh, and spray it on, which is great for bigger tires. It's great for uh, not having to get out a sponge 
uh, or a, a foam applicator. So it just saves some time and I, I feel like it's going to benefit this system uh, to add that. Uh, but don't expect any more additions to the one system. It's pretty much set. So anyway, Tesla, uh, I'm actually, I'll show you. This is the uh, Road Warrior, the work van. That's what I've been working with. This is the new uh, Makita MAC 5200. Uh, this thing is a beast, a complete, utter beast. Uh, it's three horsepower, it's 5.2 gallon tank, but 6.5 CFM at 90 PSI. So when you set your uh, pressure regulator to 90 or 100 PSI, it stays there. This thing keeps up the whole time. You'd never run out of air. It's awesome. So I've got my Flexzilla hose. They work amazing. And then I've got my uh, two different sprayers. I'm gonna show you two things today. First thing is I'm gonna wash it with uh, the Gary Dean wash method and the pre-soak uh, is gonna be with the uh, Infinite Use Detail Juice 1, diluted roughly four ounces into one gallon of water and then I'll be filling up that um, siphon tank. The other thing, which I'm walking away from it, is I'm gonna show you how to use this small gun to apply the universal coating. So that is what we're gonna be working on today. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all set up and I'll bring you back and show uh, that awesome compressor off. All right, it's time to take the uh, air injection system over here to another wheel to clean up the wheels. Um, I obviously cleaned that wheel already. That's why the bucket's nasty. I don't use multiple towels on the wheels. I usually will use one to wash and one to dry. So I have, I switched out the Infinite Use Detail Juice 1, I ran it, I ran this uh, canister out and then I put in the Universal Clean and Prep which you see right there in that gallon jug. I put some of that in here so that I can just pressure spray the Universal Clean and Prep all over the wheels and tires and fender wells so that I can just go ahead and use a towel to clean. So here we go. Actually, open it up a little bit more. I was messing with it a minute ago. I want a little bit more material. There we go. Take my cleaning towel. And just go into cleaning the wheel. If you wanted to just do use one towel, you could do that too. You just uh, rinse and wring this one out and use it while it's damp and it'll soak up all the water and the excess. But what I'm gonna do is uh, once I get this thing cleaned up. Um, I'm going to use the pressure. Actually, I should have brought my, uh, just my sprayer to swap out just to use the pressure to get all the residual water, uh, residual water out of the nooks and crannies here. So, um, with these wheels, I'm able to reach all the way in there and get all the way to the back of the barrel. So that is what I'm doing cleaning the barrels if you can see it you should clean it that's my motto if you can't see it it's less important unless the customer wants you to clean it and that is what's most important so I'm just gonna go in here clean the uh, fender wells a little bit oh, they're partially carpeted so now that I've got everything clean I'm going to turn the liquid off. So turn that, tighten that all the way back down. Now it's only compressed air. And that 
that's it. All nice and clean. So now I can move right along. Really easy with air injection. That thing does work a little bit extra because that tank is so small, that's all. So I'm gonna continue around the vehicle and getting these wheels straightened out.